Truth and Fable by Jean Pierre Claris de Florian, seventeen fifty five to seventeen ninety four. Read for LibriVox.org. At length among mankind to dwell, Truth came all naked from her well. By living there so long alone, she had a little posse grown, and old and young all fled surprised the moment she was recognized poor truth remained confounded quite by such an unsuspected sight just then she chanced to see fable in all her finery tricked out in plumes and diamonds too the most of these were false tis true but yet were dazzling to the view who in familiar courtesy exclaimed oh here you are i see and quite alone too i observe why are you here my sister dear what end do you propose to serve pray tell me if you please says truth i find i'm here to freeze for all i meet upon the road deny me shelter or abode i'm shunned as if in fear or hate but that alas must be the fate of dames like me when out of date not so says fable in reply for you are younger still than i and yet if i may be believed i'm everywhere still well received but let me ask why tis that you expose your nakedness to view that's not discreet now list to me since well our interests do agree let my broad mantle drape your form twill serve to shelter both from harm among the wise for your sake all will my foolish sayings take and with the fools because of me you always well received will be thus fable side by side with truth like as two sisters hand in hand will teach and please both age and youth and welcomed be in every land end of poem this recording is in the public domain the two bald heads by jean pierre claris de florian seventeen fifty five to seventeen ninety four read for librivox dot org by chance two bald-headed beggars found a something shining in the ground each strove to have the prize they fought and fought with kicks and blows pulled hair and tore their ragged clothes and blacked each other's eyes he who at last the object gained lost his few locks that still remained and when his prize he looked upon lo twas a broken comb he'd won end of poem this recording is in the public domain the learned collegians by jean pierre claris de florian seventeen fifty five to seventeen ninety four read for librivox dot org an owl drawn from his hiding place by students in pursuit of knowledge was made to show his sapient face within the precincts of a college there quartered with a cat and goose he of the privilege made use to go with them the whole course through herodotus by heart they knew dennis of halicarnassus too and all that titus livy wrote like learned doctors they could quote discussing once as doctors do they passed the ancients in review upon my faith the cat exclaimed the egyptians were of all most famed no people ever were more wise more law-abiding or discreet none more religious neath the skies for that alone i think it meet that egypt should bear off the prize the owl responded in my view to athens the first prize is due whoever knew such wit such grace such bravery in any race no state more noble man e'er bore or with less means accomplished more of all the nations greece ranked first hold there the goose in wrath outspoke you reckon rome then last and worst perhaps my friends you are in joke what nation ever equalled rome in grandeur glory arts and war egypt and greece can't near it come all nations it excelled by far the men of rome my favorites are they conquered on both land and sea to this at least you must agree but while the pendants thus debate they each became more obstinate until a rat who had much wit from eating learned manuscript 
cried to the crew i see why each should hold his view in egypt men adored the cat the athenians worshipped owls the romans petted and made fat the goose as first of fowls as your self-interest points the way so your opinions turn and sway end of poem this recording is in the public domain